Volkswagen, a giant in the automotive industry, finds itself engulfed in a mammoth crisis, with the future of the company hanging in the balance. The stern warnings from the VGUG's CEO, Thomas Schaefer, reverberate through the industry, signaling an impending catastrophe. Their ambitious foray into the electric vehicle EV market, while noble in intent, has led to a series of devastating setbacks, rocking the foundations of the company. The colossal scale of the debacle becomes apparent as we delve deeper into the heart of the matter. Volkswagen's struggle to meet their EV commitments has resulted in a massive consumer backlash, plummeting sales, and the disheartening sight of over 350 abandoned cars strewn across desolate graveyards. Surprisingly, their fiercest rival, Tesla, has managed to snatch away a significant chunk of their market share within a mere span of one year, leaving Volkswagen reeling from the impact. Despite the mounting challenges, the VW CEO remains undeterred in his pursuit of electric vehicles, much to the bewilderment of industry observers. Their relentless push for EVs, coupled with a neglect of combustion engines, has led the company to accrue a staggering debt of $192 billion, a sum so colossal it rivals the GDP of entire nations. This financial burden has not only strained their resources but has also left them grappling with the shadows of bankruptcy. The ramifications of Volkswagen's tumultuous journey extend beyond just financial woes. The automotive purgatory, housing over 300,000 diesel cars, stands as a haunting reminder of their infamous 2015 emission scandal, tarnishing their reputation and integrity within the global market. To add insult to injury, the external market dynamics, characterized by stringent emission and safety regulations, have further exacerbated their challenges. Moreover, the surge in demand for electric vehicles has brought to the fore a new set of concerns, particularly regarding the disposal of lithium-ion batteries. With the European Union projecting 30 million electric cars on their roads by 2030, the imminent question of responsible battery disposal looms large. These batteries, if mishandled, pose significant environmental hazards, creating a pressing need for efficient and sustainable recycling processes. Despite these trials, there is a glimmer of hope on the horizon as Volkswagen plans to introduce more affordable EV models, priced below $25,000 in a bid to reclaim their market share and regain the trust of disillusioned consumers. As the company fights tooth and nail to weather the storm, the automotive industry braces itself for the turbulent times ahead, wondering if Volkswagen will emerge triumphant or succumb to the relentless pressures of the evolving market landscape. Amidst the dynamic landscape of the automotive industry, both Nissan and Volkswagen have embarked on innovative endeavors to tackle the challenges posed by the electric vehicle EV market. Nissan, in a strategic move, has undertaken the repurposing of old batteries from its LEAF cars, employing them for internal logistics operations. Meanwhile, Volkswagen has marked a significant milestone with the inauguration of its pioneering recycling plant in Salzgitter, Germany, in collaboration with Veolia. Not to be outdone, Solf has also taken a proactive approach by recycling all its electric car batteries signifying a unified effort towards sustainability and environmental responsibility. However, recent reports from Bloomberg have shed light on a disconcerting trend in Germany, signaling a significant downturn in the demand for electric cars. The root cause of this plummet has been attributed to the German government's decision to terminate EV subsidies for business customers, a crucial segment that historically constitutes a substantial portion of the new car market in Germany. The aftermath of this decision has reverberated across the industry, particularly affecting Volkswagen, given that a staggering 70% of the electric cars produced by the company are purchased by business customers. The consequences are tangible, with production cuts announced for the Volkswagen ID3 and Prabhorn electric models at their primary EV factory in Zwickau until mid-October. Moreover, the temporary cessation of ID3 assembly at the glass factory in Dresden for the initial two weeks of October further underscores the gravity of the situation. The repercussions of these production cuts have rippled through the workforce, as Volkswagen has made the difficult decision to release 269 temporary workers in Zwickau, with the fate of approximately 2,000 more temporary staff hanging in the balance. Compounding the challenges, Volkswagen's abandonment of plans for a new $2 billion factory in Wolfsburg which was initially envisioned to rival Tesla's factory in Grunheide, 
has cast a shadow of uncertainty over the company's strategic direction. Under the leadership of Oliver Bloom, the comprehensive review of the ambitious Trinity program and the proposed new factory has led to the unanimous decision by the Volkswagen Board of Management to discontinue the plans. Instead, the focus has shifted to ramping up the production of the ID3 at the Zwicko factory in 2023, with the Wolfsburg factory gearing up to produce a new all-electric SUV for the high-volume segment from 2026 onwards. Notably, the Wolfsburg plant will also continue production of the popular Volkswagen Golf and the next-generation Tiguan. In the Chinese market, which serves as Volkswagen's largest revenue source, the company's standing was challenged earlier this year when it was overtaken by BYD as the top-selling car brand. In response to this setback, Volkswagen took the strategic step of reducing the prices of its ID3 and ID4 models, albeit further impacting their profit margins. Complicating matters is the VW agency model in China, which limits dealers from adjusting prices, thereby making it challenging for the manufacturer to navigate through market fluctuations. Despite these challenges, Volkswagen remains steadfast in its commitment to revolutionizing its product lineup, with the confirmation of an all-electric SUV for the high-volume segment set to commence production in 2026. This model, potentially named the VW ID1, aims to serve as the new entry-level model in Volkswagen's EV lineup, positioned below the upcoming ID2. Furthermore, the company has launched the Accelerate Forward program, a strategic initiative aimed at doubling VW's passenger brand profit margins from 3% to 6.5%, with a targeted improvement in earnings amounting to a remarkable $11.2 billion. In line with this ambitious strategy, Volkswagen is streamlining production by focusing on higher volume models and drastically reducing the number of variants to optimize efficiency. The introduction of the ID7, boasting a significantly reduced number of configuration options compared to its predecessor, the Golf 7 model, stands as a testament to this new direction. As Volkswagen endeavors to navigate through these challenging times, there remains a glimmer of hope on the horizon. With the promise of new launches and a reinvigorated strategic direction, the company aims to reclaim its position at the forefront of the industry, aiming to challenge the dominance of Tesla in the realm of EV sales. As the year unfolds, all eyes are on Volkswagen, anticipating its resurgence and its potential to reshape the landscape of the EV market. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ensure that the notification bell is on so you don't miss any future updates. Always feel free to let us know what's your intake about the video. And lastly, share this video. Dream big and drive safe. See you in the next video.